are fully loaded, nothing so far exploded. Mercy Dotes starts playing, I sing, and they start praying. Sun Sky and Paco sits by my side. Six kids stuck in the back for a wonderful ride. And, and I never before took this drive with my hand. I try to fall asleep, but I hear the field man's words. Does he not treat us right just because we are not white? I have seen him touch the hair of the owner's boy and girl, of the children who are fair. And I think that he not fair. The broad porch I step up to is like many on this street of once gracious two-story houses. A gorgeous young woman who turns out to be Ignacio's cousin welcomes me inside. Cousin ants, shouts and chatter, enchiladas, full platter, rice and beans. Kid dashing, big dog sends a lamp crashing, beer pokes, and uncle who smokes and grunts. All this while music comes from two places at once. My Arturo is leading me in, and it is a warehouse home, so plenty of shelf space. He points to the bathroom. Oh, a bathroom even. What a great place. And he makes scrubbing motions over himself. Yo tambien, I say. So we shower together in a galvanized metal rectangle. We soap each other's bodies. The soap keeps slipping, so we giggle a lot too. February 1945. My brothers are serving in the Pacific. It is a swell thing to have a job at Midas at my age. Twelve. I am a sales clerk. Okay, a stack boy. Okay, a janitor if you must. I learned good English from those who shop here. They like to shoot the breeze as I dust. For seven months, letters flow between her and her mother. And every week she sends home her money, and sometimes a four-pack of toilet paper. Madalena makes life bearable for me and my daughters, chattering at them, teasing them when they forget the Spanish phrases she's taught them. She cleans like a whirlwind and makes fresh tortillas for every meal. Sometimes she and my girls seem to me to be their own family. 